we'll go back to um, our drawing board and look at the link here. And we're recording again. So we're recording again. So click on the link and we're back to the drawing board. Right. Literally. The iPad drawing board. I love Oy. this thing. <laughs> okay. So let's say that we're not, um, we're doing the same thing in, uh, we have the, the same, and this is more typical actually of actual um, kinds of experiments or research that we can do within uh, actual settings. So now I have my X, which is my early intervention. I have my kids, same population. And one of the things that I can't do, however, is I can't decide to randomly select them from, you know, uh, select a sample from, because I already have my kids existing. And let's say I have school number one. And so I'm going to use that for my experimental condition, okay? And so that's school number one. And then my control condition, I'm going to use school number two. So I'm going to pretest my kids. Then in school number one, I'm giving them the independent variable of the experimental condition. And then I'm going to post test them. And lo and behold, this group does better on social skills. What can you say, however? Can you say that the intervention caused the outcome? In this case, you cannot, whereas in the experimental, true experimentation, you can, because you met the three criteria, randomization, control, and manipulation. Here, you have not met randomization. So the question is, how do I know that these groups did not differ before I ever assign them. So it could be maybe that this group did better because they, um, their parents were more active in their socialization and that's an extraneous variable. Or it could be a million other things. Maybe it's the place that they live. One lived, you know, one lives in sunshine and the other lives in this awful rain, <laughs> okay, that we're having. So, uh, you know, uh, there are many, many extraneous variables that could make this group not equivalent to this group. So that the kinds of questions that we can answer with quasi-experimentation are not causal. Whereas in true experimentation, we can answer causal questions. To what extent did my intervention cause the outcome? Here, the only kind of question that we can answer is to what extent did a change occur following my intervention compared to any change in a group that did not have my intervention? Okay, don't turn it off yet. Don't turn it off yet. Okay. Let's get rid of you. Not you. I mean, <laughs> but. Okay, we're getting rid of you, the control group. Yeah, I love that. I just can't get over it. This is what you get when you get a new iPad gizmo. Right. <laughs> okay. And um, take a look at another type of quasi-experimental design. We still have pretest and post-test. And we still have manipulation, but we don't have a control group. So what can we say here? I pretested my group, I give my intervention, and I post-tested them if they've changed. Yippee! Is it my intervention? We don't know. No, we don't. All we know is that something happened following the intervention. Now, it's really interesting that, um, you know, I, I always have to chuckle about this because if you think about your progress and how you are tested in school, you often don't even have a post-test, I mean a pre-test. So you go to the class and you have a midterm and lo and behold you score in the midterm and you do well and then you have a final and you score in the final. And what does the teacher say? Ooh, my class made the change. 
So now let's take this as example. Suppose you do, um, you know, I'm giving you this research class, and nobody knows anything, but I don't know that. Prior, so let's say if I did pretest you, which I didn't, that nobody has a lot of research knowledge. Now suppose I give you a midterm, and I test your knowledge, and everybody scores, say, 100. And I think, oh my God, wasn't I great? You're a smarty pants. I'm a smarty pants. I gave you the best class. But suppose over here, what happened is that along came, you know, research millionaire man and said, everybody who gets 100 on the test will get a million dollars. Well, what do you think would make the change? Why would people score 100? Maybe it wasn't my class at all but rather the millionaire person. Similarly here, I don't really know if my class made the difference. All I know is that following my class, this is what happened. And that is an example of pre-experimentation. So two of the three criteria for true experimentation are, mi are missing. So at this point, what level of questioning can we answer? Well, we can only answer what is the relationship between X and what happened after X or O. So, following my class, people did well on their midterm and their final. Non-experimentation, which is a really, you know, sort of